the the main thing with these problems is that you got to look at that the particular um, PKA table that we're looking at. Okay. Um, so the next problem is we're reacting a ketone. And if you don't know your um, functional groups, yeah, it's going to be tough for you to do these ones very quickly. So the first thing, we got to figure out what's the what and what's the what, right? What is the what do we try to figure out? Acid. The first thing we got to figure out is what's the acid, and then of course the other thing is going to be the base, right? So how do we figure that out? Look at the PKA table, right? So, um, do we see either one of these things? Whichever one you see first, let me know. HCl. HCl. Okay, what's the PKA? Negative 7. Negative 7. Is that pretty acidic or not very? Yeah, that's pretty acidic. So, already we're thinking that's probably going to be the acid, right? But we should confirm that by looking at the PKA of a what? Alpha. Alpha hydrogen of a ketone, right? Because that's the most acidic hydrogen. And what did we find there? Positive 20. Positive 20. Okay. So is that a stronger acid than the other one? No. Okay, not by a long shot, right? So protonation is going to occur base acid, right? It's that carbonyl oxygen again. Obviously, in the ketone, it's the only oxygen. Let's not put our reaction equilibrium arrows yet. Let's write our products, OK? So what are our products? What are we calling this thing here? Yeah, protonated ketone. And then, of course, just the chloride ion. If it doesn't have a hydrogen on it, can it be an acid? Our uh, bronsted lowry acid is what we're really talking about. Obviously, things that don't have hydrogens on them can be Lewis acids, not this thing. Well, okay, not in this case. But since it doesn't have an H on there, you shouldn't be expecting to find it on the PKA table. Okay. So, what's the PKA of this thing? Anybody find it yet? Protonated ketone? Negative seven. Yep. Negative seven. Negative seven. Protonated ketone. Okay. So, uh oh. <laughs> Equilibrium. <laughs> yeah. So, that's very good, very good uh, assessment. Well, what do we want to do? So, this thing doesn't have a PK. Okay. So, whatever. Okay. So, What's the acid and what's the base on this side, left or right? Left is acid. acid. Okay, this one? Base. Okay, acid or base? Right? Left is acid. Acid, base. Right? Okay, so remember, what did we say? We compared the relative strengths of those two acids, right? To tell, to qualitatively determine where the equilibrium lies. And when we see this, right, we can see that they're both the same. Okay, so we would predict, right, without doing our mathematics, that the equilibrium arrow would be equal. Okay, so you would have equal amount on both sides. Okay, let's just see if that comes out. So, do you guys remember what the equation for KDQ is? What is it? KDQ of the Reactant acid over product acid. Hopefully you guys can already see what's going on, right? So what's the K of the reactant acid going to be? 10 to the negative, negative 7, or 10 to the 7, positive 7. And the bottom? 10 to the negative, negative 7. Negative, negative 7. So what's 10 to the 7th over 10 to the 7th? 1. 1. One. So when your KEQ equals 1, you're in equilibrium. Okay, you should remember that from general chemistry. Okay. So, um, what does it say? 
which side does the reaction equilibrium favor? What would you say? Neither. Neither, right? Or neither. Or whatever. Okay. Are we cool with that one? Are there any questions? Are you guys getting this stuff? Okay, fairly straightforward. So it's not so bad of math, right? When everybody was like, ugh, when we first heard that there was math involved. Okay, so we cool, we're gonna kill it.